don't necessarily have issue with the fact that there may or may not be a God, but I do have an issue with saying there is a God. Okay, so 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 are you? So the reason why I'm asking that is because there are certain people, like deists, for example, and they acknowledge the existence of a higher power. Sorry, but the, the, uh, have deists. you heard deists? Yeah. yeah. So they they affirm the existence of a of a higher power, like whatever it is above. But, but they don't subscribe to religion. But they don't subscribe to religion. Yeah. So you don't have to believe in a religion to know that there is the creator. Or not. No, but there's a difference between knowing that there's a god and believing that there's a god. So a theist, by definition, believes in god, right? Uh, well, you have to be more specific. A theist means not only affirming the existence of the creator, but the creator intervenes and he sends prophets and uh, he sends revelations to his creation. Okay, sure. Because the deists, they say that they say that the creator exists, but he he doesn't do anything. Okay. But we don't believe in that. So do you believe that we are just random, that we just came into existence by randomness? I accept that as a possibility. Okay. Okay. Okay, so if I said to you, um, a jumbo jet that's flying at 500 miles per hour, 45,000 feet, came into existence by itself, by nothing, through nothing, by no, nothing that came before it or after it, it just randomly, the, the, the electrical, mechanical, the metals came all together simultaneously yes. by chance and it just literally started flying by itself. See, but is, is that believable? No, it's, it's, but at the same time, that's because we have invented jumbo jets in the time that humans have been around, right? We've invented jumbo jets very recently, they haven't been around for a very long time. The universe has been a well, depends. My religion is different. Okay, but if you, but you know, you know as well as I do, that for someone to create or make a jumbo jet has to have knowledge about mechanics, has well, to have knowledge. knowledge. So, so given the length of the universe by scientific standards, which is 14 point something billion years old, right? It's a very, very long time. So in that time, there are near infinite, well not near infinite, there are a huge amount of random things that get like, given like the size of the universe as well. So think about the universe being nearly infinitely big, again, not infinite, don't know, and extremely old, and the amount of random things that can happen within that space of time. And then also bear in mind it's a gradual process, right? We didn't materialize out of nowhere. I'm not saying we randomly materialized. Can you explain to me how randomness can, can, can create complexity? Yeah. How does ran... Okay, if I have 10 dices in my hand, yes. right? And I roll the dices, right. right? And then I said to you that those dices formed a sentence saying, thank you for coming here today, right? By randomness, yes. right? What are the chances of that randomness coming to existence? Like, just, just tell me the, the chance out of one out of ten. Okay, so you see these dots smiling. It's interesting you said that because I had this exact same conversation yesterday, right? So, do you know them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Snap. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know, no, I know you're saying it's a very low chance, and it's an even lower chance that you have why, a complex. Why is it a lower chance? Explain. Explain to me why is it a lower chance? That if I had to. Good. 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 Why is it a less chance of that forming a sentence that's meaningful? That's actually meaningful. Why is it less chance of? There's a lot of possible. There's a huge amount of numbers or combinations that make up. So the background of these coherent sentences, it forming a coherent sentence, is the chance of that stuff in comparison to a random jumble. Because there's much more, there's much more nonsense that those uh, marbles can spell out than coherent sentences. I agree with you. Right? I agree. So in that situation, you're saying the chances of our existence. Through randomness are ex like infinitesimally small, correct? Yes. What I'm saying is that evolutionists, as well as people who do not believe in God or agnostic, one thing they cannot explain is complexity of something. Like, yeah, I disagree um, with like, for example, I don't think you can explain Okay, so because explain to it's me. It's a gradual process. It doesn't, it doesn't go from nothing to complex beings, right? The universe didn't start. There wasn't the Big Bang and the Bang, humans, straight. That's not how it happens. So, even the Big Bang, we don't know if that's a fact or not, it's a theory, right? But, say we take the Big Bang. 
Big bank happens. So you're not sure about anything? No, but we're not, like, in general, we aren't sure about anything. It's very, scientific community is not clear. It's, it's very interesting that you brought up about the scientific method. How can you scientifically prove to me probability exists? Probab probability is not even a... Probability is just a... Uh, it's an abstract. It's not an entity. It's what we've named something. Let's understand one thing. What's the definition of scientific method? The scientific method is the study of the physical world through experimentation, repeatability, and testability, correct? That is the definition of the scientific method, yeah. Right, so science can only verify things that are physical, something that's tangible, okay? Now, how can you prove to me from scientific method that probability exists? Probability is not even an entity. No, because probability isn't something that we need to prove that exists. Probability is what we've assigned to some, like say, I don't know, like say with dice. The probability that a dice will land with one L6, if you throw a dice six times, right? No way. But uh, here's the thing that you misunderstood, because you're using empiricism. Yeah, you're using in, in, I don't in, in understand your argument. What, what do you mean by proof probability? What okay, is the alternative to no, probability? No, because probability is, is a probability is an abstract. It's not an entity. It's not a it's not something that you can see, you can test under the microscope. It's a way of testing. It's no, it's not. It's not like maths. Like numbers are abstract, but that doesn't exactly. So how can you prove scientifically that numbers exist? Numbers don't exist in that regard. Ah, so here, here's the here's the thing. The reason why you believe in mathematics is not because of through scientific method. It's not because of that. It's because we as human beings we conceptualize. conceptualize that number one, can you sh can you yeah, prove to me? Yeah. Mathematics yeah. works. So say numbers, right? Yeah. Numbers work. So say there's three things, right? Yes. Yes. I've said there's three things. Yeah. That's the reason numbers work to quantify. But that's just an idea. It's an idea, but it works. But it's not empirical. But it works. No, 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 no. Here's what you don't understand. What do you mean it's not empirical? That's what. That's the scientific method. The scientific method is through observation repeatability and experimentation, right? Probability is a, a model that is not an entity. Okay, it's not something that you can test under the microscope. I'm not mistaken, you're comparing maths, probability, numbers, it's and how you can't prove them to how you can't prove the fact but that then why do you be, okay. I believe in one, so, but I don't believe so, in the other. So why do you subscribe to a probabilistic model that we have no empirical evidence for it? Because if something works, to find, like, we can find results using numbers probability, right? Okay, I understand that. I can't find results using religion. I can't say yeah. this happens because of religion and say that's a fact. We don't say we're not, this happens because of maths. No, we're not talking about religion. What we're saying is, even in, even in the scientific method, even reasoning and rationality is embedded. Yeah? So, so you have to use every avenue of knowledge that's available. Which is, so, why, I don't, which is yeah. why I don't subscribe to atheism either. That's why I don't say there is definitely no God. Okay. In my mind, that is like, I don't see religion as logical per se. I understand. I understand. But in my mind, atheism is equally as illogical. So you do take, so you do take reasoning into consideration. So not just the scientific no, method. That's the point of scientific method is to see like different possibilities. That's what theories are. Okay. So you, so you don't say seeing is believing. You believe in metaphysical things like consciousness. So do you have to see something to believe? It? No, yeah. But I also it's a proof. Look, we, that I yeah. can see. I consider the fact that they may be as true. I also consider them not being. Okay, I want to ask you this. Right? The universe, right, is tilting 23 degrees on its axis. Okay? The universe is tilting 23 degrees on its axis. If this universe was too close to the sun, it would cease to exist. If this no, universe, the Earth. yeah, the Earth. No, the Earth. If this universe was too far away from the sun. You will freeze to death. Yeah. Right. Explain to me, right? Because you believe in randomness, right? Yeah. Right. So explain to me how is it possible, right, for the universe to be on its correct axis, right? That's tilting 23 degrees. How is it possible that can? can explain to me, rationally, how can that be random? How can the Earth be on the correct axis for us to not die? Sorry? How can the Earth be on the correct axis relative to the Sun for us to be alive right now? Absolutely. Uh, because great. there are billions of other planets in which plants are close to the Sun, right? And they are on the wrong axis and there is no life there. There are billions and billions and billions and billions of planets in which there, on which there are no life, sorry, in which there is no life, in which nothing occurs. So how is it that this universe, we have the correct facilities like water, we have air, mm. we have oxygen, 
right? That's what I'm saying. It's a game of chance, right? So say you have. No, but why do other Randomness doesn't, doesn't exist. Dice, Randomness right? doesn't exist. Dice, doesn't exist. Three million sides, right? Yeah. And you throw that dice over and over and over again. Yeah. 99.99999% of the time, it's not going to land on the number two. However, one time eventually, despite the probability being so low, if you give it 14.3 billion years, yeah. and you have like an infinite amount of space to do it, and you've got an infinite amount of dice rolling at the same time, eventually, it's going to land on that number. And it's going to land on that number several times. I don't think so. Would you say that we so are hold the on, only do you planet? believe that the universe is eternal? I can't say that. Again, so, so, so you're I'm unsure about anything? I'm, no, I'm trying to understand something. Yeah, Everybody is unsure about No, related I'm certain that I exist. Mm -hmm. I'm certain that I exist. So do you, do you okay. no. Sorry, sorry, one second. No, no, no. They believe in the existence of God. Right. There are we can give you rational and decisive proofs. Oh, right? I'll give you there is an argument in the Quran. And there's an argument in the Quran. I don't know if the brothers have already shared this with you. The Quran gives a powerful argument for people who deny or doubt the existence of the Creator, like yourself. The Quran is in chapter 52, verse 35 to 36. It says, "Am khuluku min ghairi shayin, am hum al khaliqun, am khalaqu samawat wal ard, bala yuqinun." Or were they created from nothing, or did they create themselves, or did they create the heavens and the earth? Surely they have no firm belief. So let's analyze this. This is supposed to be a rhetorical argument for you. Yeah, nothing cannot bring into something because nothing itself is not even a thing, let alone something. Okay, so we can rule that out. Did you create yourself? That's an impossible. That's impossible because you are then postulating that you exist and not exist at the same time. Either you always existed or you have a beginning. It's like saying that you gave, uh, um, uh, that our mothers gave birth to themselves. And that is illogical and irrational. So the only, so the only evidence, the only option that is left on the table, there has to be the originator. There has to be the creator that always existed. No beginning, no end. That's a rational proof.